anytime you're mentioned in the, the same category as Mike, it's a, you know, it's an honor and it's a, a major accomplishment, even if it's All-Star Weekend, you know, because if it, if it was that simple, more people would have done it since 1988. So, I mean, that's a, a major accomplishment for me to be mentioned in the same conversation as far as that. And uh, like, like you said, it's been a tough year, you know, just the transition, being on a, a, a new team. You know, we've had three coaches since I've been there. We've had, you know, coaches leave, um, moving across the, the country. You know, I've been on the West Coast my whole life with my whole family right there, you know, just a, a tight group, always in place. Uh, and I think this, anytime you have these types of uh, experiences where you have an adversity and things not just flowing like you expected to or like you would want it to, I think that's the time that you got to just show, you know, who you really are. You got to keep doing what you do, keep believing. And uh, uh, when you do that, usually it comes back to you. You know, it's some type of reward that comes for it, but you just can't fold. And that's that's what my mentality is. Um, and I did come into the weekend, you know, and I knew I was doing a three-point. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to win. You know, I ain't going to come be casual and try to be cool about it. I'm going to try to win it again. And I'm going to come in the All-Star game, my first start. I know I'm going to be on the floor a lot. And, um, you know, I'm a vet in this game at this point. So um, why not try to go go get an MVP, you know, since I've been here enough. And, uh, I saw the ball start to go in and I did that, but I wouldn't say it was validation. I would just say it was just a, a, something that I put my mind on, and I was like, I'm a, you know, that's going to be what, what my intentions are this weekend, and I was able to do it. This, too. Is this what it should be? Is this what an all-star game should be? Do you think the fans enjoy it? And how much do you enjoy seeing a two up there on the scoreboard for the first time probably ever? Um, I think... Uh, People who are fans of the game, you know, they they love it. You know, they enjoy being entertained. And I think it could be more competitive. Uh, you know, I think in our game right now, it's such a fast-paced game. We play a lot of games. Uh, the game has probably also had more injuries than it's ever had. You know, and trying to manage your body, trying to, you know, protect yourself and not get injured and take away from what you ultimately want to accomplish, I think, is something that we prioritize. But... Uh, it's a, it's a lot that goes on, you know, when you come here for this game. And usually our preparation to get ready to compete, it looks a lot different than it looks when we come here. And this weekend was a lot better than the, than the past, but um, I think when the game is any type of loose, you know, if it's not a game where you've got a scout report and you locked in and a lot is on the line, then, you know, guys too talented. It's going to make a lot of threes. That's the kind of game that it's going to be. I think 200 is a lot you know, to be scored. It just shows that you know we didn't go out there and compete like I guess you would, you would want us to or whoever would want us to. But um, I think that's just what it is. Um, you know, guys are talented. We make a lot of shots. We hit a lot of threes. And is that or is it just a matter of being in the middle of the season, needing a break, guys trying to stay healthy? It's just kind of sort of is what it is, mm -hmm. what the game is going to be. I think something could be done about it. Um, I'm not sure what, but I think it, there's a way for, to to make it a more competitive game. I don't think anybody's going to play it like it's the playoffs, but it's a way to to get guys to come to the table and, and just play a more solid game, I guess. Um, but I did think it was a good game. You know, anytime the crowd is is engaged and you're hearing oohs and ahs and um, things like that, because the crowd does not enjoy what they see. They're just not going to say nothing. You know, I've seen it. They'll just sit there and watch, but um, I thought it was enough moments uh, to be excited about and to enjoy watching, but it was just too many probably leak out, you know, go get a dump, go get a layup type of moments, and I think if we could just limit those, um, you know, people probably wouldn't feel the way they feel sometimes about it if we could just try to limit it, but it's, it's going to happen sometimes, it probably just can't happen as much.